YouTube. This is Damon Day for another YouTube video. Um, so I got a couple things to do. I have to go get a key made because I lost um, the key over the winter. And uh, yeah, um, I also need to go get my bike fixed because I have no cluster. I don't know if my signals work or when they're on for that matter, or if they're on. Um, what else do I gotta do? Uh, one, two, three, there's a third thing I had to do and I don't remember what it is. But um, I want to give you guys a walk around to the bike uh, of all the work I've done to it. Trying to get uh, a handbrake and all that. So that, that'll be what today's video basically is about. Hopefully it'll be just a nice safe ride. It's not that warm out, but I'm not going that far or fast. So I'm just rocking the sweatshirt. I hope this is still recording guys the weather should be good enough where this is still working um, I'm in the process of you know I'll tell you guys in a minute no one wants to see me just sit here it should be warm enough where it wants to work if it's too cold apparently it doesn't want to work um, I, I don't know why that is um, I've tried it indoors outdoors left right up down nothing really wants to work when it's cold out so I don't, I don't blame it because I hate the cold but after doing a lot of talking and yelling with GoPro, um, they're gonna help me out and get another one for a discounted price. Um, so I'm going to be getting a Hero 5 Black very soon, within the next two weeks I hope. And that's built literally to be outside, it's built to be underwater and everything is waterproof camera. Slow the fuck down dude! So there should be a locksmith here. But uh, once I get that, then I won't have any more camera issues. I'll be able to film everything all the time, like normal. Unfortunately, I'll need the new adapter for the microphone, but small price to pay. So guys, that was pretty annoying. Um, what happened is I had this, um, the left hand controls. Uh, high beam, hazard, horn, and a couple other things. I had that kind of floating over here. And when I went to go use the high beam, um, sorry if I'm yelling, I'm going deaf. Uh, when I went to go use the high beam, it came out of like this little socket it was supposed to be in and um, I didn't know the socket was really there so I put it back in place and I, I wasn't really putting it exactly in the right place that um, it took me a while because I did it like five times and it wasn't working um, then I had this little um, pass button it's a yellow button and uh, behind it that was working the whole time that's how I know that the high beam was working it has something to do with this little button here man this is not hoodie weather at all um, so I took it apart, I cleaned it off, and it was it just wasn't going back to the way it should be. And it all had to do with me just not putting it right in, in that correct spot. Shaking that ass on the floor, bumping and grinding that hole. Once I get to my friend's house, I'll give you guys the walk around. I don't even know if he's there. If he's not there, then I'm not going to give you the walk around there. I'll do it somewhere else. Pretty sure he's there, though. It is getting a little late, though. Maybe I should just go home. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go and somewhere else. Nah, I don't know. I, see, guys, I can't even make up my own fucking mind. How did 
I knew that was gonna happen. I, I knew that was gonna happen. So this guy may have ruined one or two of my shots, but whatever. He was uh, over there when I was, uh, I pulled up and pulled out my first camera. My first camera didn't work, so I don't have the LCD screen. But uh, I can still make it look nice. So guys, I don't remember what chain this is. Um, it is a Vortec. Uh, 200 and sorry 530 size um it was a 120 link um that's how it's been cut down to size I, I don't know exactly what it is right now um these are my the rims I, you know everything stock um in that aspect i did have them powder coated obviously um it gave me the chance when i bought the bike to put new bearings in so i don't have to worry about that anymore um, this is basically like the Renthal, I believe they're called, or something like that, a Pro Taper. Um, this is the eBay knockoff. They're like 10 bucks. Um, you can see they're worn, but um, they're basically the same thing. Um, hydraulic clutch right here. Um, I had to go ahead and switch that out for a radial style. This is a Kawasaki ZX14 Clutch Master. Um, this is my handbrake right here. Um, this is a R6 Frontmaster Brembro. Uh, it works good. Um, it's a little far from my finger length when I'm riding. So um, that's basically as close as I can get it. I can get it a little bit closer if you guys can see, but um, that's about where it is. Um, in the last video I posted, I did have a little a lot of trouble with this. Um, because the high and low stopped working, but that's all taken care of. Um, I do have a Dinelli air horn on there. I'll play it for you guys in one second. Um, everything over here is stock. Sorry guys, I'm really, really fat. I'm just so out of shape. Sorry if you hear me huffing and puffing. I'm out of shape. I'm fat. Get over it. Um, so since I got these new longer bars to fit all this, I, um, I had to kind of zip tie this right here. Um, but everything else over here is stock, just the bars are different. I do have, uh, risers, gets it up about an extra inch, get it, gets it up. Um, I forgot the name of the lines I switched to. But um, I switched the whole bike to different lines. They're all stainless steel, black, black fittings. Um, the 80 inch line here. I will put it right here. Um, the name of it, I think the guy's name is Ray Chan or something like that. He's from uh, Niagara Falls, Canada. Um, Leo Vince, uh, full exhaust. Uh, came like that on the bike. Um, currently right now, because I'm practicing wheelies, I am leaking fork oil. Kind of bad, but... It ain't getting anywhere, so it's no harm, no fall. Um, everything else is pretty much stock. Um, I upgraded a lot of this for the handbrake setup. This is the NDC triple caliber bracket. Um, these right here are off of a Kawi. Um, in particular, they're off of the Ninja 636. And uh, my foot brake, I used to have one of these. I switched the foot brake over to a Kawasaki foot brake because that's what this uh, caliper bracket is made for. Um, I know I've been telling you guys all about this, but I've never actually showed you guys, so um, now you guys have seen it.
Now I'll make her all I'll, I'll make her look pretty. Oh, my headband's not on. That's okay. Yeah. And since I almost got hit going that way, I'll go this way now. Thank you. 